ears look great. Um, his nose looks good. There's no discharge at all. I'm going to pick up each side of his upper lips. He doesn't really love that. <laughs> I'll look at the color of his gums. They're nice and pink. <laughs> no broken teeth or anything like that. I'm going to feel his lymph nodes. So dogs have lymph nodes like people underneath their chin. They have them um, under their shoulder blades. Can you stand up, Stormer? Come on, buddy. They have them behind their knees. Whoops, I just slipped a little. And they have them in their groin. So that all looks fine. I'm gonna then do another just test of hydration. I'm gonna pick up his skin and let it fall. Kind of right between his shoulder blades, it should fall down immediately. And if it doesn't, it means he's some percent dehydrated. I'm gonna do a body condition score. There's a couple different ways to do this. I like to kind of run my hands on him. I'll feel his ribs a little bit. I'll palpate his hip bones. The most commonly used system for body condition scoring dogs is on a one to nine. A one is a really emaciated dog, a nine is a morbidly obese dog. We like for sled dogs to be a four or a five when they start a race, and I would call him a five, which is an excellent body condition score. Um, so then I'll move on. I'm gonna listen to his heart and lungs. I am going to just gently hold his mouth shut because he's panting. With a stethoscope, all you can hear is panting if they're panting. I would take a heart rate. I forgot to wear a watch this morning, so I can't do that. But I can still go ahead and listen for any murmurs or arrhythmias. And his heart rate sounds like it's probably about 110, which is a good dog heart rate. He's a little bit excited because everybody's looking at him. When you go to the doctor, your doctor will ask you to take a deep breath in and out. We can't do that with dogs, so we get what we get. I am going to try to get him to stop panting. I'm going to listen to at least three spots on each side of his lungs. His lungs sound just fine. Um, I'm just going to quickly palpate his abdomen. He is a male. He is neutered. I always double check that. And then the last thing I'll do, and I don't always do this with pet dogs, but with sled dogs that are about to start a race. Um, Rhonda doesn't have any complaints about him limping or anything, but we'll just do kind of a quick orthopedic exam. Um, I'm going to pick up each leg and spread his toes and look at his feet in between his toes. Sometimes sled dogs um, will get ice built up between their toes and they'll get a little split or something, kind of like when the end of your finger splits. So I'm going to look at all of his feet for splits. I'm going to just flex high and extend each wrist gently. I'm going to look up in his axilla or his armpit, if they're wearing harnesses, sometimes they'll get chafing or harness rub. I'm going to just gently extend and flex his shoulders. And then I'll just kind of flex up his back legs. All right. And I'll just feel his hips real quickly. So that is about it. He looks great. 